something for you. Wanna do something for you. Do anything in the world I can. If I can do something for you. If I can do something for you. No, you can't do nothing for me. Can't do nothing for me. Don't want nothing in the world you got. Can't do nothing for me. I'll buy you a watch and chain. Buy you a watch and chain. Buy you a watch and chain. If I can do something for you. If I can do something for you. I don't want no watch and chain. Don't want no watch and chain. Don't want nothing in the world you got. Can't do nothing for me. Can't do nothing for me. Well, I'll buy you a house and home. I'll buy you a house and home. Do anything in the world I can. If I can do something for you. If I can do something for you. I don't want no house and home. I said I don't want no house and home. I don't want nothing in the world you got. Can't do nothing for me. Well, I'll buy you a strip of land. I'll buy you a strip of land. Do anything in the world I can. If I can do something for you. If I can do something for you. I don't want no strip of land. Don't want no strip of land. Don't want nothing in the world you got. Can't do nothing for me. Can't do nothing for me. I'll buy you a diamond ring. I'll buy you a diamond ring. Buy you a diamond ring. If I can do something for you. If I can do something for you. I don't want no diamond ring. Don't want no diamond ring. I don't want nothing in the world you got. Can't do nothing for me. You can I do it for you? Do anything in the world I can. If I can do something for you, if I can do something for you. No, you can't do nothing for me. You can't do nothing for me. Don't want nothing in the world you got. Can't do nothing for me. Yeah, sing it. Can't do nothing for me. That was Can I Do It For You from Memphis Mini featuring Kansas Joe McCoy also on vocals. So they're, they're both doing a verse. He'll do a verse and then she'll do a verse and her answer to him is, let's just say she's not being very positive here. She's just, she doesn't want anything that he wants to give her. So this song is a really a lot of fun. It's in open G tuning and it's capoed at the first fret. So let me just play that open G with first fret capoed. Now it's got an introduction and it's got uh, the verse part. and They're very similar but I'm going to show you there's just a little bit fancier finger picking that she throws in for that introduction. It is Memphis Mini. So she likes to do that. All right. The first lick is very similar to the vocal melody. Let me show you on the right hand, we're going to be doing uh, an alternating bass line throughout. And when you're in open G, you often play on the fifth and fourth strings. You just leave that sixth string alone. Don't have to take it off like Keith Richards does, but you just kind of avoid it because it's not going to be the right note. So just like that. And then this opening lick is you think of the vocal, can I do it for you? It's a very similar melody. So you're going to open third, and then 
third string, third fret, but you're going to do open second string. And then move that up. Bring your first finger down on the second string, and then you're going to, for the last note, you're going to just lay that second finger down on the third fret. So the whole time you're doing a bass line, and you're going to, you're going to change up the bass line by stretching your finger over. Let me show you. So you're going to the fourth fret on your fifth string. Still going between, with your thumb, between the fifth and fourth strings. And then you're going to go to a C chord. So this time with the C chord, you're going to be using your third finger. Maybe you can check out my right hand for a minute. I'm going to be... So while you're playing that with your left hand, you're going to pick it and then with, let me play it for you, with the bass and everything. And then you're going to, going back to the right hand, you're going to also get that alternate bass line again. Play that whole first section for you again, put it together. Go to your third fret and you're going to bar those first two strings, upper strings. So you're on your first strings there, second, first, first, second, first, second, and then open third string, and then a ascending on the second string. And here's the little fancier part for the intro. So open third, and then you're going to walk up a little faster. So that's the introduction. Let me show you the verse, which is very similar, except there's, she just doesn't do that little. She just simplifies it a little bit. So let me show you the verse. Instead of going, she just goes. Let me show you in split screen so you can see what both hands are doing.